Hi, Lizzy. Hi, Norma. Hi, teacher. How are you? Fine. And you? Fine. A lot of rain today, huh? Yeah. A lot of... A lot, a lot of rain. But everything okay in your house? Yes. <laughs> All right. Hi, Norma. Jaime, Roberto. Are you there? Everybody's sleeping, Lizzie. Hi, teacher. <laughs> Hello. Hi, Norma. How are you? Hi. Okay. A little sick. A little sick. What happened? Uh, it's a grip. Ah, uh, the cold. The cold. Okay. Especially for this weather, eh? It's not helping. Yes. And you, teacher? I'm okay. I'm okay. A little bit sleepy because of the weather. <laughs> <laughs> but you it's work. Okay. Yeah, I worked. Yes. Okay. Yeah, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. Elizabeth, how are you, Elizabeth? Hi, Ellie. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I am tired. You're tired. No, oh, no. Yes. A, a lot of work? A lot of work. All right. Okay. Well. But, yeah, but every day I wake up very early. Yeah? What time do you wake up? Uh, I wake up uh, 5 a.m. Ah, le gano. I wake up at 4.15. <laughs> mm. Every 4 day. Why? Because my first Why class, I teach my first class at six o'clock in the morning. Mm. Very early, yeah. So I have to get myself ready and I have to get my children ready for them mm. to go to school. So I leave my house at 5.30, Elizabeth, every day. Every day, Monday to Friday. From Monday through Friday, yes. And the uh, weekend? Saturday, I teach a class at 8 o'clock. So eight? I wake up ah, yeah, at eight. 8 o'clock in the morning, yes. So mm. I wake up a, a little later, like, and I wake up about 6 in the morning, 6.30 something. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. you want. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. But that's okay. Hi, Roberto. Hi, Noe. Hi, Noemi. Noemi. ¿Qué tal, teacher? ¿Cómo está? Yo digo que bien, Noé. Así como con sueño por tanta lluvia. Sí, yo también. ¿Verdad? Para estar acostada y arropada, niña. Ay, sí. ¿Verdad? Yes, of course. Of course. All right, yes, very good. Of course, of course. Of course, of course. Hey, where is Elmer? Elmer is sleeping today. <laughs> Ya es la edad, me, dice. Me lo, me lo estoy imaginando así embosado, tipo así con, con que solo se le ven los ojos, el gorrito así como tipo de... de probably. <risa> yeah, probably. Así me lo imagino a Elmer ahorita. Con los calcetines hasta arriba. <risa> ya, yeah, es como que bien heladito está, ¿no? Yes. Bastante. A ver. Yeah, it's very, very cool. All right, guys, are we ready to start? Yes. Ready. Yes. yes. All right, yes. very good. So yesterday we were talking about phrasal verbs, okay, and we did an exercise. Baby, Se le don't turn off Elizabeth. the light. ¿Qué le pasó? No, What my happened? baby turned off the light. Oh, no. <coughs> All right, Maybe. very good. Okay. The light, please. So we were talking yesterday about phrasal verbs. A ver, ¿quién se acuerda de alguno que vimos ayer? Mm. We were to practice it about, <coughs> sorry, about the <coughs> complete to put to wait to put 
is the use pronouns with verb and the and describe different the use uh, of pronoun or not. Okay. All right. Very good. Okay. So we were talking about that yesterday. No. All right. Very good. So today we're going to continue talking a little bit about that too. All right. And then we're going to go on with some of the um, uh, pronunciation and stuff. All right. So let's, let's get working here. This, we're just going to finish. We're going to finish up what we were talking about yesterday. So this is what we saw yesterday, but we're not going to see that today. We stopped here. All right. We stopped with this exercise. That's right. Yes. All right. Very good. So, um, any finish. you finished yeah. that, right? Yes, we finished. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Okay. Any questions about the vocabulary from this exercise from yesterday? Or no questions? Mm. Uh, the meaning of the letting. The meaning of which one? Let in. Let in is like dejar entrar. Okay, okay. All okay. right, yeah, that would be let in. Uh huh. Okay, Any you. other? Mm, no. No, we're okay? Okay. Here we have, uh, we're not going to do this one. Um, let me see. So hold on, I just want to show you, okay. Okay. Okay, we're, we're talking about this. Siempre en la, en, la, en la sección, en la misma sección, obviamente. We're talking about uh, phrasal verbs with, request, with models for requests, okay? So we can talk about can, could, and would. All right, so we say, um, Lizzie, can you read what it says, please? Request with model verbs. Yeah. Can. Request with model verbs. It is okay to say, please turn the stereo off to people we know well. We should use a more polite request. How, however, mm -hmm. for neighborhood or uh, and strange, strange, and strangers, strangers, strangers. It's <laughs> very good. Okay. So, no, that's okay. Like, yeah, uh -huh. we have can, okay. could, and would. All right, thank you, Lisi, very much. Okay, so it says, with model verbs, it's okay to say, for example, Noemi is my friend. And I say, hey, Noe, please turn the stereo off, okay? Or I can even say, Noe, turn the stereo off, and that's okay, because she's my friend, okay? But if I don't know you, okay, or you are my neighbor, or you are my boss, or someone that I don't have like a lot of trust, I have to say, or I have to use model verbs, can, could, or would. For example, I said, turn the stereo off, please. All right. Could you turn down the volume, please? Would you, um, I don't know, would you come in? All right, so it's different, okay? It's more polite. When we use models for requests, we can use can, could, and would, and it is more polite. No es lo mismo que yo le diga, please turn the, um, the stereo off. A que yo le diga, can you please turn the stereo off? Si, se oye menos directo. Do you understand that? En colocha las palabras. Excellent, ajá. Al final es lo mismo, pero con, con como más nice. <laughs> All right? More polite. It's more polite. Definitely more polite. Okay, so we have here. Um, let's see. Norma, can you read number one, please? Norma Campos. Can you turn off the light, please? Excellent. Can you turn off the lights, please? Very good. Elizabeth, number two. The mic, your microphone, Ellie. Elizabeth, su micrófono está apagado, Eli. En la, en la, en la. A ver, mientras lo enciende. Noemi, number two. Could you clean up the table? Very good. Lizzie, uh, number three. Could you pick up 
The makers, please. The markers, please. The markers, very good. Roberto, okay. Yes, uh, Roberto Aviles, number four. Can you close the window, please? Very good. <coughs> uh, let's see. Then Me? I have, okay, yeah, go ahead. Would you take the cut, cut out? No, Would you take the cut it. out? Would you take the cut, cut out. out? Yes, the cut out. Oh, very uh -huh. good. Cut Mauricio out. Morales, uh-huh. Could you take off your cut, please? Very good, Mauricio. No, entró ayer, ¿verdad, clase? no, no teacher. What happened, Mauricio? You were sleeping. It's, it's, it was raining. I know, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. I forgive you. All right? Okay. Uh, very good. Uh, Walter, do you have any questions or do you understand? Waltercito? Yes, teacher. Do you understand? Yes, yes, I understand. Very good. It's very easy, right? No problem. Yes. Okay, so remember that in this case, we're using can, could, and would for these uh, or with these phrasal verbs to make the action a little bit nicer or to make the request a little bit nicer. Si se fija, en este caso, el verbo o el phrasal verb va en su forma original. Can you turn off? Could you clean up? Would you pick up? Can you close? Would you take? Would you, uh, could you take off? All right? No lleva ninguna otra extra información más que el verbo en su forma base. All right? So you can say, can you turn off the light, please? Could you clean up the table? Would you pick up the markers? And remember that it sounds a little bit more polite rather than just say, turn off the lights, please. Okay? If you are my friend, or if you're my brother or my sister, I can say that. But if you're not my friend, if you're my boss, or if you're the supervisor, or someone that I don't really know very, like, very well, I can say, can you, could you, or would you? Okay, do you guys understand that? Yes. All right, yes. very good. Let's see, Noe, um, give me an example, please. Um, can you... Close the door, please. All right, very nice. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Um, let me, Norma Rivera, can you give me another example? Norma Rivera, are you there? No, maybe not. Um, Jaime, are you there? Yes, teacher. All right, give me an example using wood, Jaime. Using the model verb wood. Good. Um... Could could you could you turn uh -huh. would you turn on the light? Okay, could you turn on the light? All right, very good. Lisi, can you give me <coughs> another one using could? Yes. Uh, could you uh uh, okay. Could you let in the dog, please? Okay. Could you let in the dog? All right. Very good. Okay. Um, what about if you, Walter, what if we use, think about a sentence or a request using um, find out. Remember that we, we saw the phrasal verb yesterday. Find out. Can you um, ask? Or, oh yeah, can you like ask a request using find out and using the model verb could? Teacher. Yes. Can you explain me what is the difference in could and good? All right, we're gonna, we're gonna get to that. that that's what I wanna see right now, Elizabeth, if, we, if you guys understand the difference. All right, I'm gonna explain it right away. See if Walter has makes that example, and then I'll, I'll go on explaining it. Okay. Can you please find out the document that you uh, 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 keep yesterday? Okay. Very good. Could you find out? Okay. Very nice. Thank you. Okay. So pretty much, Elizabeth, the difference is word is much more nicer. All right. Nice. Aquí vamos a ir en el orden del más. El menos formal al más formal. Can 
is less formal. Could is a little bit more formal. And would is much more formal. And you're asking for a possibility. Would you pick up, mm -hmm. please? Es como aún más, más, más formal. All right, Elizabeth? Mm, the possibility. Right. Yeah, uh -huh. and maybe... Es como que usted tiene aún menos confianza con esa persona y se le dice, would you pick up the markers, please? All right, para que no se vaya a sentir mm -hmm. como ofendida. Mm -hmm. Entonces, would you mind, would you, okay. would you close the window? All right, as where I say, can you close the window? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, yes? Yes. Okay, Thank very you. good. You're very welcome. Any other questions? Okay, now we're Richard, going to, yes? I have a question. Yes, what's your in question? Case, in the case of the takeoff, um, I remember the means is when the plane uh, takes off. When el, el avión despega, huh? <laughs> yes, take uh -huh. off, uh, takes off. And take off cut, what? Uh, Retirarlo, okay. quitárselo. Uh, uh -huh. Yo le digo, take off your shoes. <coughs> es okay. quítese los zapatos. Mm, All right. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Uh -huh. Very good. In ese caso, eh, we have el mismo phrasal verb, take off, pero diferente significado que depende del contexto de la oración. Mm -hmm. Porque no. obviamente yo le digo, take off your shoes, no es que le digo, despeguese los zapatos. <laughs> los zapatos no van a salir volando. All right. So it depends on the context of the sentence. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Very Thank good. You, yeah, you're welcome. Okay. So here we have. Um, let me see. Uh, we can Norma finish. Rivera ya está por ahí? ¿Todavía no? Normita, Normita. Yeah, there you go. Norma, uh, do you mind reading this, please? Request with would you mind. Okay. We can also use this structure to ask a request in a polite way. In this case, the verb mind must be followed by a gerund and the formal is verb plus ing ing very good norma thank you so much okay pay attention to this guys ahorita estamos usando estos we were talking about this one you could you would you or we're talking about modal verbs can could would okay mm -hmm. but now y el verbo el phrasal verb in the base form aquí no le agregamos más nada okay formal base. but this one now we're using would you mind this is an an expression okay that you cannot if you say would you mind siempre va a ir junto all right you understand that only would only with what yeah you don't say would. can you mind no or could you mind no you say would you mind would. yeah would you mind. yeah okay. usted puede usar el would noemi solo es solito por ejemplo would you put uh, the phone away. Could you listen to me? Could you let in the dog? All right, would you uh, pick up the trash? Pero si ya le digo, would you mind? Story, okay? Now, if you use this structure, would you mind? The following verb has to go with ing. Would you mind turning the light on? Would you mind putting the books away? Would you mind taking off your coat? Would you mind finding the answer for the test? Do you understand the difference? Yes. Yes, understand. everybody understands? Yes, teacher. Yeah, Mauricio, do you understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. So in this case, every time you use would you mind, you have to, you have, to have a gerund. No es un presente continuo. Presente continuo es una cosa y gerundio es otra. All right? Que los dos se ocupen con ing es diferente. Pero su significado no es el mismo. All right? Okay. The, the, lo que pasa es que... Eh, cuando hablamos de gerundio son nombres, se vuelve, se vuelve um, sujeto. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, would you mind, um, or no, solo le digo, I like swimming, no le estoy diciendo me gusta nadando, 
Le digo, me gusta nadar. ¿Ok? O me gusta cocinar. I like cooking. Cooking es un gerundio. No le estoy diciendo me gusta cocinando. Mm. Le digo, me gusta cocinar. I like cook. I like ¿Ya? To cook. Ok. Ajá. Entonces, no, no, no. Si, es, si termina con ING, y por eso nos confundimos a veces. Si esto es presente continuo. Y cuando lo trato de traducir, es un solo relajo. <risa> All right. Porque dice, I like cooking, me gusta cocinando. ¿Verdad? Porque hemos aprendido que el ING es el endoando, ¿cierto? Endo. Ajá. Yes. Caminando, yes. corriendo, pensando, pero eso es presente continuo. Que lo ocupo con el verbo be más el ING. I am cooking. I am teaching. Ahí sí es, ahí es presente continuo. Gerundio no. Si se fijan en esta estructura, por ejemplo, pues dice, would you mind eh, listening to me? Would you mind finding out the answer? All right. Entonces, ahí no estamos ocupando la estructura del verbo be. <coughs> Okay, All right, very good. So, in this case, usted tiene que acordarse, si usted va a usar would you mind, que es aún más formal, ¿verdad? Es como que le, usted no le importaría abrir la ventana. Eso es lo que está preguntando usted. All right, entonces eso es como más polite. You cannot say would you mind open the window. Se oye raro, es would you mind opening the window. Yes. A little confused. A little bit, but not so much. Solo hay que acostumbrarnos con la estructura que el would you mind siempre va seguido con un ing. Okay. Would you mind letting? Would you mind finding? Would you mind taking? Would you mind? Oh, no. el, y el verbo, el phrasal verb que sigue, ¿cierto? All right. Mm -hmm. Let's continue okay. here. Veamos estas. A ver, Mauricio, number one. Will you mind not talking while I'm speaking? Excellent. And it's como un request, ¿verdad? Entonces, tiende a hacer una pregunta. Would you mind not talking while I'm speaking? All right. Es como, ¿a usted le importaría no hablar cuando yo estoy hablando? <laughs> All right. All right. So, the, the pronunciation, I mean, the intonation is also important. <coughs> a ver la otra. Eh, Jaime, can you read it, please? Jaime is okay. missing. Would really? you mind cleaning no. up the table? Excellent. Would you mind cleaning up the table? Very good. Yeah. Uh, Roberto Aviles, next one. Would you mind pick up, picking up the markers, please? Excellent. Walter Guerrero, the next one. Would you mind closing the window, window please? Yeah, very good. Next one, uh, Lizzie. Uh, would you mind taking the cat out? Very good, thank you. All right, Norma Rivera. <coughs> okay, uh, would you mind taking off your coat, please? Your coat, please. All right, very good. Okay, so, si se fijó, todos están en gerundio. Talking, cleaning, picking, closing, taking, and taking off. Taking out and taking off. Yes? Yes. La mayoría, o bueno, no, no, digamos que la mayoría lleva please al final y eso es como aún para hacerlo aún más educado todavía. Would you mind closing the window, please? Would you mind closing the window? También lo puede dejar hasta ahí. Would you mind closing the window? Pero cuando le agrego el please, es a little bit even more polite. ¿Ok? Casi que está hincado uno pidiéndole. <risa> Casi, no, es mi cita. All right. Ok, solo que, permítame, permítame. Ok. Now, si yo le digo a usted, a ver, no, Walter, hágame la, cualquiera de esas preguntas, Walter. A ver, escoja una y pregúnteme, la teacher, dígame. Uh, teacher, uh, could you mind closing the window, please? Okay, my answer is going to say, um, I don't mind. Si yo le digo a Walter, I don't mind, I don't mind, le estoy diciendo que lo voy a hacer o que no lo voy a hacer. Que no lo voy a hacer. Que no lo voy a hacer. I don't. Que no sabe si lo va a hacer. Okay. Que sí lo va a hacer. Que sí lo voy a hacer. 
Cuando yo, cuando Walter me pregunte, hágamelo otra vez, hágame la pregunta otra vez, Walter. Ok, I don't mind, quiere decir, ah, ok, no tengo ningún problema, lo, me voy a levantar y voy a cerrar la, 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 la ventana. Si yo le digo, I mind, es como que sí me importa y no lo voy a hacer. Entonces, aquí es a la inversa. Si yo le digo, I don't mind, es como que es una respuesta affirmative. All right? Yes? Oh, really? Yeah, really, all right. Thanks, teacher. Uh, teacher. Yes? And the rest, eh, escriba la respuesta. Okay. Are wrong. No le entiendo cómo es la Ay, respuesta. Voy, ahorita, no se preocupe. Ah, vamos, espéreme. Deme un segundo I aquí. Don't mind. A ver. A ver. Walter me preguntó, ¿pueden ver esto? ¿Pueden ver lo que estoy haciendo? No. No, no, ya sabía. No, no. Hoy sí. Si no voy a estar hablando y ustedes ni tienen idea de lo que estoy diciendo. Hoy sí. Okay. Okay. Would you mind uh, opening the window? All right. Eso es lo que me preguntó eh, Walter. Yes. Yes. A ver. And I say I. Don't mind. I don't mind. Quiere decir, I will do it. I will do it. Ok. Y si yo le digo, I'm sorry, o solo le digo, mm, I mind. All right. I'm saying is, I will not. I will not mm. do it. Ok. Do you understand, Noé? Okay. Si usted me dice, teacher, do you mind repeating the, um, explaining again? Yo le digo, I don't mind. No, no, no me da problema, lo voy a hacer. No me da problema. ¿Ya? Ok. Uh -huh. Preguntas, niños, porque oigo así como los grillitos. <risa> Noé, no sé qué me está diciendo Noé, mi cita, porque tiene apagado su teléfono, su teléfono, su micrófono. Sorry. I don't mind it is. I, I don't know. No, negative. It's positive. No. Oh, it's possible. Yeah, it's positive. It's positive. Uh -huh. okay. I mind. It's negative. It's negative. Uh -huh. Ah. Okay. Yeah? You understand? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah? That's Generalmente, okay. cuando decimos I mind, yo le puedo anteponer algo así. Para que no se oiga tan pesado, le puedo decir I am sorry. I am sorry. I mind. <laughs> Or I am sorry. I can't. Okay. All right? Pero cuando usted no lo va a hacer. Yeah. Pero cuando usted lo va a hacer, dice, no, ok, it's ok, I don't mind. Es, puede decir esto también, como para suavizar. Igual, it is ok. I don't mind. Entonces está bien. Usted me dice, teacher, a ver, no me entendió el tema. Y usted me dice, teacher, would you mind, would you mind uh, explaining the topic again yo le digo no that's okay noemi that's okay noe porque yo noe le digo that's okay noe i whoops i don't mind entonces quiere decir que le voy a volver a explicar el tema noe mm -hmm. okay. ya yeah? Okay. Uh -huh. O que ya es la okay. inversa. Si la respuesta es negativa, quiero decirle que sí lo haré. Si mi respuesta es afirmativa, quiere decirle que yo no lo voy a hacer. Ok. Uh -huh. Al revés. Es upside down. Ok. Go ahead. Ok. Any other questions? 
Missy, you understand? Yes. Okay, very yes, good. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Thank you. Good. All right. Si tienen preguntas, please do ask them, okay? Thank you. The meaning teacher, uh -huh. uh, the will you mind uh -huh. in Spanish, sería, te importaría Exacto. o no te importaría. Exacto. Uh -huh. That's what it is. Yo le digo, ¿le importaría bajarle volumen a la radio? Usted dice, no, okay. no me importa. Okay. Y, y le baja volumen. Uh -huh. Ok, thanks. Ok. En estas igual, es también importante saber los different ways to apologize. Cuando usted dice, no, no puedo hacerlo, por lo general siempre damos una razón o una excusa. All right? So we have given excuse, I'm sorry, I didn't realize tal cosa, no me di cuenta tal cosa. Admit a mistake, I forgot. I left it there, making an offer, que son, digamos que las make an offer y make a promise son las que nos tenemos que concentrar un poquito más ahorita porque estamos usando el will, que es lo que ocupan en la plataforma. Make an offer, I will take it out right now. Yo le digo, Noemi, would you mind taking the garbage out? Y me dice Noemi, ok, I will take it out right now. Voy a sacar la basura ahorita mismo, all right? I will take it out right now oferta o es como que usted está ofreciéndose a hacerlo y usted se, ajá, y make a promise a do you well for example yo le digo Elizabeth would you mind uh, I don't know studying for the exam y me dice Elizabeth I promise I will study all right so it's because you're promising all right or I'll make sure to work on the platform for example all right mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? Mm, no. Okay, so this is what we're going to do right now, guys. We're going to go back. I'm going to send you to your groups. Okay, y quiero que hagamos, me van a hacer four, question, four requests, okay? One with can, one with could, one with would, and number four with would you mind? One wish. Four, four questions. Yeah. Four requests, okay? One for each modal verb, for, mo for modal requests. Can, could, would, and number four, would you mind? Okay. You understand? Yes, teacher. All right, okay. So go to your group Chat. and make the sentences, okay? Va a haber un grupo de tres. ¿Por qué? Quiero ver. Ah, no, mire, se acaba de salir alguien. Ah, pues no, va a haber, todos, todos son de, de dos. Hoy tenemos poquitos. Sí, everybody's sleeping today. No, <risa> se apegaron a la, a la sesión. <risa> Yo creo del Minet.
Walter. Hi, Walter. Hi, Roberto. How are you doing? Hello, teacher. Hi, Hello, how are hello, you? Teacher. Good. It's. Are you finishing? Excuse me, in the last. Okay. Okay, teacher. Uh, yes. It's core. It's core. You say, would you mind let in the cell phone era, Walter? Yes. Yes. In your cell phone. Letting. Let, it has to be with Jerry. Letting. 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 Letting in. Or solo letting, letting in, yes. Ah, okay. Letting in. Y el significado sería. Dejar entrar o dejar. Depends the context. I mean, what are you saying? Would you mind letting in what? And your, your cell phone. phone. Would you mind letting me use your cell phone? Mm. But the cell phone you cannot let in. Es como que a dónde lo va a dejar que entre. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Sale la foto, dice Walter. <laughs> Or would you mind let, letting let in to see the photos you on your cell phone? Ah, that's different. Uh -huh. Would you mind letting me see letting me see the the, the picture of your um the cell phone? But in that case, it's not letting in. You know what I'm saying? You can say, "Do would you mind letting me in?" Le dejaría le, le importaría dejarme entrar. Ese sí, porque yo puedo entrar. Uh, letting me in. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Thanks. Okay. My... Okay. Letting me. Okay. Finish. All right. I'm gonna go check on in like the other groups. Let's see how are they doing. Okay. Okay. Is is that? <laughs> mm -hmm. I mind. Ladies, how are you doing? Fine. Uh, and, and have a doubt. In, yes. What's your in doubt? The, Can you review in, my sentence, teacher, please? Uh huh. We sentence. <laughs> in our sentence. In our sentence, please. Okay. What happened? Um. You can read, please. Okay, in, in the first one, we put the, uh, can you clean up your room? Uh-huh. And cool. And oh, sorry, I have a mistake. Could you like to drink? Two is two, two you, drinking. The first you question. Like you drink it. <laughs> it's two, it's two. Why? Mm -hmm. And the, the other one is, can you turn up the dog? I cannot really oh, hear oh. you very well, San, uh, Normita. What, teacher? I, I cannot really hear you well. Say it again. Mm. Okay. Uh, could you take out the dog? Okay. And the <coughs> other one is, could you turn off the TV? Yes. Teacher, mm -hmm. in this case, we we can use it the other form. For example, would you turn TV off? Would you turn off the TV? Would you turn the TV off? You can you can play. I mean, it's okay both ways, Norma. Ah, okay. Different ways. And the last one, would you mind put off, put out? No, put away the towel. Please. If you use would you mind, Norma, you have to use gerund. Ah, okay. You might put enough. That's right, yes. The mm. towels. Yes. Uh-huh. Okay. okay, this is a mistake. Putting putting away. 
Yeah, remember that you, whenever you use would you mind, you have to use gerund. Okay, teacher, y, y when, mm -hmm. when, eh, se lo voy a decir en español, cuando yo sí. quiero decir sacar algo, yo puedo poner putting away o, o putting off. Say it again, ¿Cuál Norma, es la diferencia de usar las dos? Dígamelas otra vez, Norma. Bueno, si yo uso eh, putting away, para mí es ponerlo afuera. Y, y sí. si yo uso putting off, también es ponerlo afuera. Es que putting away es lo del de aquí en este Papi. momento. Sí. ¿Me entiende, Norma? Yo le digo, put it away, es como guárdelo. Put it away. Ok. Mientras que yo le digo, put it out, ya es como, sáquelo. Entonces, para ponerlas, sacarlas todas afuera, es put it off. No, put it out. Yeah, yeah. Did you get it? Do you get it, Norma? Yes, teacher. I okay. get it. All right. Very good. Thank you. Yeah. It's hard because it's raining really hard right now in my house. I cannot really hear you well, but I think I think you got it. Okay. All right. Noemisita and Norma, are you finished? Sí, teacher. A ver, regáleme sus oraciones, quiero oírla. Ok. Uh, can you turn off the computer, please? Ok. Uh, Excuse me, can you close the door, please? Ok. Will you clean up the floor, the house? Ok, the house floor. The house floor, sorry. Okay. Yes, that's okay. Okay. Would you mind helping the work? Would you mind? You mind helping the work. Okay, okay. okay. You're using the ING, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And the other? Ah, yes, I mind. And the other is, will you mind listening to me? Very nice. Yes. I don't mind. Yes, you don't mind. <laughs> mm -hmm. You don't mind listening to me. Is correct, teacher? Yes, it is correct. Yes. Okay. Congratulations, man. Excellent. You guys are the best. All right, nice, nice, no, nice job, very good. We're gonna go back right now, okay? Okay, teacher. Hi, Lizzie, hi, hi, May, are you finished? Hi, teacher, yes. yes teacher. Uh, can, I can I listen to your uh, sentences? Yeah. Okay, the Lizzie. First one. Okay, the first one. Can you take off your shoes? Oh, nice. <laughs> the second one. Uh huh. Uh, could you hang up your hat? Okay. The third one. Uh, would you let in the cat, please? Okay. All right. And the last one. And the and the last one. Could you my Turning off the computer, please. Very good. Okay, nice. Thank you very much. You were very well done. Thank you. Okay. We're going to go back to the main room right now. Everybody finished? Yes? Yes. All right, very good. Norma Campos, can you give me one of your sentences so you can share with your group? Okay. Can you turn on the computer, please? Uh-huh. Very nice. Okay. 
What about Elizabeth? Uh, would you mind sharing one of your uh, sentences? With good. <coughs> Sorry, with good. With anything, doesn't matter. Mm. <coughs> mm. Would you like to drink beer? No, beer. Beer, oh my goodness. Beer. <laughs> Or right. why? Okay, okay, all right. Okay, it's okay, but just remember that you need to make um, like requests more than invitations, okay? But that's okay, that's okay. All right, very good. Um, Walter, can you give me one of your sentences or can you give us one of your sentences? Walter, Walter, hello. <laughs> Uh, hello, teacher. Would you mind turning down the radio? Yes. Would you mind turning down the radio? And I said, I don't mind. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very That's good. Okay. Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're very welcome. <laughs> All right. Norma Rivera, can you give us one of your sentences? Okay. Would you turn off the TV? Okay. Would you? All right. Very good. Any other? Do you want to share with the class? Uh, can no? you okay. clean up uh -huh. this? All right, very good, nice, okay. All right, guys, so just make sure that we, that you understand. Cuando hablamos de phrasal verbs, en este caso lo estamos usando para requests, pero puede ser de cualquier, los phrasal verbs son un montón, all right, like a lot of them. Eh, mm -hmm. Realmente no importa el contexto, para todo hay un phrasal verb, ¿ok? Si usted cree que hay algo que se puede salvar de un phrasal verb, I'm sorry to say that's not true. Todos tienen un phrasal verb, ¿ok? Entonces hay muchísimos que hay que aprendernos, ¿ok? Pero en este caso lo estamos enfocando como para request. Cuando hablamos de request también lo enfocamos y usamos modal verbs, can, could, and would. Si usted va a usar can, could, or would, su verbo va a ir en forma base, su phrasal verb. Could you turn off the computer? Or would you... Um, sí. 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 Ah, the teacher is coming. Oh. I am here, I'm sorry. <laughs> ah, okay. All right. Entonces, solo para terminar, recordarles que cuando usamos el would you mind, En este caso, el phrasal verb que le sigue tiene que ir con gerundio. Would you mind taking? Would you mind putting? Would you mind, I don't know, finding? Would you mind making up? Would you mind, I don't know, any, cualquier phrasal verb que se le ocurra. Si usted va a ocupar mm -hmm. would you mind, que es una forma muy educada, tiene que usarlo con gerundio. All right, con ing. Always. Always, no. yes. Okay. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to go right now. No voy a hacer que hay otro bajón de luz. All right. <laughs> so I will okay. see you tomorrow. Vamos a continuar un poquito mañana igual de siempre los phrase overs para, para terminar con eso y luego ya empezar el jueves con la sección. Ah, no, estas son, ah, sí, sección, sección 2, exacto, sí. Okay. All right, guys, so I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. No se me moje mucho mañana. Parece que va a seguir lloviendo. All right. Thank you so much. Okay, guys. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.